I would like to ask you uh, to give an explanation of the goals of the Horizon Plan 2014-2025. The cohesion policy is, yes, exactly. is a central part of the European investment. It's a kind of solidarity fund, not just giving the money, but also asking something back to have a good spending of the money. So what is the central goal of this whole thing? The first priority, it's about educating your people. The knowledge, knowledge of universities, knowledge of research has to be used. And it can be used for energy transition, it can be used for bio-based production in agricultural regions, for smart cities and better mobility, for instance. Second is connection. It means especially with the new fiber, the new uh, the internet, to give people access to everywhere in Europe to the internet, to the Wi-Fi. The third is the climate change. The climate change is coming everywhere. We have to adapt ourselves. We have agreed recently in the Paris Agreement that we will uh, bring back this uh, CO2 emissions and that we will have a different way of working with energy. So these type of goals, together with the important social uh, part of our goals, it means that we help people that are in a situation that's really difficult, who cannot really participate in a positive developing society and economy, that we help them to get in. Uh, the second question is about the recent mission uh, in Slovenia, uh, about how they are spending the European funds. It is a virtuous example of uh, investment in European uh, funds. Uh, can you do a framework about the mission? We make visits to several countries to see how these cohesion funds are, are used. And then during these visits, also in Slovenia, we talk with the government, we talk with representatives from, uh, from political parties in the parliament. We talk with the, uh, with the mayors. So we get the total picture. And we went to Slovenia because it's a new member state. They are still young in European history as members of the Union. And there we saw that they were able to adjust, to adapt themselves for this European new way of programming. So if you want to spend European money, you have to have a good management on it. We looked how Slovenia did it. Slovenia was able to absorb the money. One of the best examples. And to perform well, to have outcome. For instance, we visited Ljubljana, of course, and there we saw that the waste management system was paid by European cohesion fund and they were able to, uh, to deliver uh, very good results for a low cost for the citizens. So now a lot of people of other countries say, wow, go to Ljubljana. Ljubljana was in 2016 the green capital of Europe. And what we learned there is that we have to tell it more. We have to, to show our results. And I agreed with um, people from Slovenia that they can have more European money to, to tell this good story. Can I ask you to give some advice from the other member states, in particular for Italy, in order to better invest in the European funds? Of course, of course, because uh, Italy is one of the biggest member states of the Union. Italy has two sites in the south. We have still these regions uh, that need special attention, special money, because they didn't develop so quickly in their income. And the northern part, it's more uh, developed. So my advice might be that the experience of the north for instance, in energy transition, or in bio-based production, or in design, it can be also be used in the South. We have to connect uh, entrepreneurs in a stronger way in the South with the North. And we call this smart specialization. We give 
of course, money to the poorest reasons, to convergence reasons, as we call them. But we cannot go on giving them four or five billion each, uh, each period. We should have concrete proposals where they want to adjust their economy, how they want to educate younger people. And they do it now, but it should be intensified. We have to combine cohesion money together with structural reforms.